What's up, fellow journeyers? I don't know about you, but I'm pumped to see what's behind us. And I have to say, maybe we are convinced to get a grand design. It's kind of funny. You know, houses are built from the outside in, RVs are built from the inside out. It's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of solitudes. Is this like a, is this a table attachment on the front of these seats or what is this? So we're, we're on average, we're about five to six times our standard. Okay, yeah, that's, okay. It's yeah. pretty good. <laughs> Actually, they're not just behind us, they're like, uh, yeah, they're all around the place. <laughs> Grand Design Factory Tour time. When you're in Elkhart, Indiana, that is like RV central. It's like the mecca of RV manufacturing and brands. And so we definitely wanted to check out some, some tours while we were in the area. So we are at Grand Design and we're going to get to tour some amazing things today. First rig though, now by the time this video comes out, there might be a few of these rolling off the line, but this is still a prototype. It's not even out yet. So this is going to be called the Grand Design Solitude 378. Let's check it out. Now remember, we said prototype. This is going to a new exterior color, but the inside, from what I've been told, 90% of what you're going to see in the final product. Marissa's is ready to get in here. I right? am. Let's go. We'll come back to you in a second. <laughs> going here first. So what I love about what Grand Design is doing is they are going with some lighter design choices, which I know if you've been in an RV or toured an RV, you're thinking, why is everybody painting everything like, like we do? But um, I think a lot of people are just really liking the lighter touches in an RV and Grand Design is heading that direction and they have done an amazing job. So these are the new changes that are rolling out in August 2020. So they have went with this more edge, the more squared edge features that are light. And then look at this hardware That's here. That's cool. So cool. This is awesome. The sink. Nathan and I always like fight because I want the the one sink, but he's like, no, it needs to be separated because you know we wash our dishes by hand and do dirty and clean and so this is something special that they've done this year specific to their brand is adding this little divider in the sink so this is something new that's coming out so if you got some of the long handle you know you can still wash it and have it kind of hang over or you've got two separate spaces i mean it's, it's kind of it's the really, best of both really worlds is. where you get two separate spaces but then if you have it still looks like the one but if you have a large pot so this is super cool i'm loving the new sink the wood color is a different than the previous model, right? Like, um... So the previous, this one's the prototype. So you can see here, this is the original wood color here. So yeah, this is what the wood yeah. was yeah, there's some... last year. And then they went, you can tell it's just like a, a little bit lighter in the wood color. Uh, the couches, this is not the couch colors that are coming in. They haven't swapped those out yet. Again, yeah, prototype. so new couch colors coming. They're gonna be a little bit of a gray tone too. The, the walls are lighter this year. Can you tell? So it's not white, but it's not that dark beige. It's kind of like a, a light beige gray. It's really nice. This is why we absolutely love this model. Look at this light in here. So an insane amount of light. These windows, all these windows. Look how crazy big these windows are. Uh, which is also in the 377 previous years. But what they're doing on 378 is this TV will come down and you'll have a window behind the TV, so you get even more windows. Well, you know that we love light, and we actually want to keep our TV hidden if possible because we don't want our kids asking to watch TV all the time. So I would love to just have a window and just pull the TV out when you need it because we don't need it a whole lot, but why not have a window and a cross breeze instead of having a TV that you're not using? So... I love that that's something that they can tweak and make possible because that's going to be amazing. Uh, new on this model as well. This is now flush down here instead of having like a lip on it. So that's flush. Flush now, over here. Yep. Flush over here. And they've gotten rid of the carpet. So no more carpet over here. <laughs> it just looks so residential. Like having these 
these pendant lights in here with this island like this feels this feels so much like a home it's great i love it and we're not this isn't like an official tour we're just kind of highlighting things that are new for this model um this is also new for this model like check out this door i know oh, so man. now instead of like the full glass they've added the barn door here which i oh, love man. so when you're coming in if you tour these usually you come in and you see yourself in a big mirror but now it's like a barn door so i love the barn door it's great um and you'll see why now on this one you're getting extra storage here you're getting storage over here then they say one of these is like a pass through i think so i think you can you can access oh, yeah, them on the side. other side oh, so it's a cool. double okay. a double pass through so with the this one you're going to get extra storage instead of having the loft but you get all this extra storage a coat closet oh it's a pass through as well oh it's pass through oh oh i like the pass through idea yeah that's cool extra windows they they're adding the windows in here so let's see, I think the top one's new and the two side ones are new on this. So and then this bed can still fold up. It's yeah. not folded up right now. but They've been be able to make these have deeper slides. Um, so now because of the deeper slide, they've added the two extra windows in here. So. But other than that, the mid bunk, well, you get, you get extra mid headroom too. Yeah. Huh. So yeah, that's your, your coat closet. And then I was also told, I know one of the issues with like the 377 was the airflow, the circulation from the AC in here because you had to have like a chute come down, but now, you know, your vents are di coming directly into this room. Um, and so your airflow and air circulation should be, should be better with this layout. Yeah. And they've done, made some changes in the bathroom. So come check this out. So they have went with this color here, this gray color in the bathroom. Look at this. So they've taken out the wood, the, the traditional wood and made it like a painted color changed out the countertop this dark hardware this is more of a textured wall this yeah, for this model see it. and i think i don't know if this is even the shower head from what we understand they're going to be putting a um yeah what a multi-head shower or something I'm like this again sure, wait till yeah. that comes out for sure but yeah. i think from what i understand you're gonna have multiple shower heads here that come in and they're also going to be adding a fold-up bench a flip down seat yeah, here flip -down. they changed the way they did the outdoor kitchen which uh this is pretty awesome but you got like a separate boxed in area with the suburban griddle all this out here and that way you get all your space back there the, the 377 has the uh, if you want the outdoor kitchen option the 377 has like the sliding uh, kitchen that comes out so it takes a lot of your storage space compared to this doesn't take nearly as much of your storage space so first thing we're taking a look at is the chassis prep we go through different stages along the line here and in case you're wondering it's uh after 12 p.m the workers here work from 4 a.m to 12 p.m just a little earlier than we get up and we go to work. So, <laughs> so Lipper Component makes our chassis. Uh, they are basically engineered by our engineers. So they actually design each chassis per floor plan. So right here at this stage, you can see actually the drop frame. Our drop frame goes from a 12 to a 10. Uh, a lot of the comparators actually go from a 10 to an 8. Cool thing about also about our floor itself, it actually has a 25 year uh, warranty for any soft spots. So oh, okay. it is a little heavier being a one piece, but completely worth it for the warranty and just the sturdiness of the floor itself. Now, is, it, is this across the board, reflection, solitude, or just solitude one piece? Great question. So the reflection 303 and up. So the 303, 320, 367, 337, uh, 311, all have built floors. And then all your solitudes, all your momentums, uh, including the G-Class, will have built floors like this. If you look down this line, you can see just how many we have in this facility. This building alone, um, when we go up to the mezzanine level a little bit later, you'll realize it's the largest mezzanine level in the entire RV industry. It's huge. This facility is, is, is pretty big. I think we're up to 250,000 square feet on this one. Yep. yep. Right. So it's, it's pretty large. As we go down the line too, you're going to see, you know, they're going to be putting more and more things on it. It's, it's kind of funny, you know, houses are built from the outside or from the outside in. RVs are built from the inside out. Definitely easier to get the refrigerator in now, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> just, just guessing. I'm not an expert on this, but, uh, <laughs> A lot of refrigerators. Solitude is on a racetrack system, which I'm sure you guys have probably seen in some of the marketing stuff or from salespeople. And what that means is our duct work here, instead of ending the, the ducts right here where the AC is, we actually run it past. Now that helps keep the turbulent air at a lower level. So you can actually have a quieter AC without having to go to a quiet, cool AC system because we get asked that a lot 
And I mean, you guys were in the, the RV earlier when we had the AC going, it really wasn't that loud. Mm. And that was on high too. Um, so it's a really good system that works for us. And Should we make the ice cream for lunch? Or let's... Yeah, right? <laughs> it's fun to poke though. The system's lap sealant. Um, this is going to go around all of your vents, uh, skylights, things like that. Not your ACs. That's your homemade Dicor? That's right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Off-brand Dicor, right? <laughs> <laughs> Here's your slide room. So we do laminate the side walls of the slide room, both side walls. Uh, we also laminate the roof of the, si of the slide room. Well, we've had different viewers. Some say you can stand on it, some say you can't, which maybe they're both right depending on, you're saying this depending on structurally what's done up top. You're exactly right. If so, you have a hung wall, the hung wall, it's going to be a wobbly wall, basically. Mm -hmm. um, with the laminate wall, it's actually a solid structure to, to make. They're all, it's uh, automatically pressed, but basically, uh, mechanically uh, bonded wall which allows you to have a full basically the walk-on structure 300 pounds okay. capacity on it and stuff so final phase is basically where a lot of the finishing touches are put in the furniture is brought in your kitchen cabinetry is brought in your valances etc well, let me see let's see those all got decals right I want to see one without the decals so people wonder what they're like without the decals on them so let's see there you go there's a solitude no decals one question I always get from salespeople, customers, is dual pane window. The dual pane of windows that we install at Grand Design do not have gas, the argon gas in between. So it's not a gap between the two panes. Reason we don't we stay away from that is argon gas windows are not made to be traveling down the road. So you eventually will get a leak and then condensation once. So our dual pane windows are actually two glasses uh, laminated together. So it's a thicker glass. Gives you an R value of one but it's great all for uh, condensation and it's also great for sound. You can see a lot of finishing touches. This tape basically means something's wrong with the unit. They basically want the unit to be ready to be sold when it hits a lot. Mm -hmm. That's the goal. Yeah. Uh, cool thing about Grand Design though, most companies when they do that, they ship it straight to the dealership. Okay, Grand Design instead of shipping it out, when the plant says, hey, well, this unit is ready to be sold to the customer right now, that we ship it to the PDI process. Okay. And the PDI process is to put it through 300 point inspection. So So you're saying most places probably when they get done here they're done. You got an entire other place that, that goes through another inspection. You got it. We're okay. actually going to put like I said 300 point inspection to make sure everything's working correctly. There's no leaks in your gas lines, water lines, all your appliances are working correctly. Trim pieces are looking good or just even uh, accidents that happen going down the line with tools hitting the walls, gouging walls, mm -hmm. uh, et cetera. Have we done a 3740 bag? I don't know. That's a pretty popular one for the S-Class for sure. Yeah. Yeah, so this can sleep. Yeah. This can sleep a lot of kiddos. Yeah, we ran into one of these, haven't yeah. we? We thought, man, that's a really awesome bunker. It is. Have. I mean, for, for bang for your buck, like, this could sleep. This could sleep quite a few people back here. Oh, that's nice. Look at the lounger. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of seating too. What's this down here with a what are those? Is this like a is this a table attachment on the front of these seats or what is this? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what that is. Huh. But yeah, it just fits right into that capture plate and then you've got a, a table for you. I like that way better than old school like the little holes you put them in and yeah. it's like uh yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so stuff. wobbly, yeah. oh my goodness. It's a lot of uh it's a lot of solitudes <laughs> all over the place. This is uh, the largest dedicated lamination facility in the entire RV industry. It's 225,000 square feet. Um, this section of the building right here is temperature controlled year round. Behind those blue curtains, which is where we're gonna go later, that's temperature and humidity controlled year round. Part of the reason why we need that temperature control in this section is because aluminum needs to be acclimated to a proper temperature before we weld on it. If you weld on cold aluminum, it will crack. It's not a matter of when, it's, it will. And what you'll see right over there is two uh, drum drum peelers essentially. What we do is we cut them down to a size about, about this big and reflection wall versus a solitude wall, you can kind of see the difference. Um, cut them down to a size that's, that's manageable and they, they essentially feed this top portion inside of that drum and they're measuring to see how many inch pounds of pressure it takes for our vendor parts to fail us. So this was a Luan separation 
right here. And then this one was what we would consider a fiberglass separation. We know that the walls are gonna fail at, at some point, um, that's a given. But what we don't wanna see is for the entire wall piece to, to separate from the, the foam block insulation. Then we know that we have an issue. Standard so you're here. testing these which have VIN numbers and if something goes wrong, yes. you go back to the one that was done before and know you need to redo it? Is yep, that what's going so this on? one okay. was 9379 off door side, pulled apart at 540 inch pounds of pressure. Okay. Um, this one pulled apart at 590 inch pounds of pressure. On average, we're, we're hovering right in between about 580, 590 is kind of the, the norm. A lot of our walls pull apart at 600 plus. 600 is just how much the torque wrench goes up to. Um, What's good? What are you trying to get above? Well, our standard's 100. Okay. So we're, we're on average, we're about five to six times our standard. Okay, yeah, that's okay. It's yeah. pretty good. Um, we're the only manufacturer that tests every single sidewall. We're also the only manufacturer with a three-year structural warranty that covers delamination, which is insane. We've, that's Like Nate was saying, we've got a lot of money invested in this facility, and that's, that's part of the reason why. There's a couple competitors that do this test, but they only do a spot check, and their standard is 40 and 60. Um, so they'll do one out of maybe a thousand or one out of a, you know, a once a month or something like that. The reason is a lot of companies don't want to do this test is because they know that they're going to fail the test. And that's a liability, right? Yeah. That's a lawsuit. That's always more money. That's a lot of, so you guys test it all? Every single, every single wall, mm -hmm. front and back. And then, uh, you, you know, we get asked, you know, hey, that's cool, but what's your failure rate? So we speak in terms of that three-year structural warranty. It's 45,238 grand designs that were on the road within that structural warranty period between um, 2018 and 2020. And essentially only 208 had any issues related to fiberglass. But we don't know if that's all delamination, but let's just assume that it is. It's about 0.4% failure rate, so yeah, it's pretty good. Right. We were really impressed with our tour today. And I have to say, maybe we are convinced to get a grand design. What do you think? I think it's up there on the list. You guys have talked to us before <laughs> knew that we were looking for something with more light. And we're looking for something that the kids could have separate sleeping spaces. Um, and so some of you may know what layout that is we're looking for. And you may know that maybe, maybe not. Grand Design has that layout, um, but yeah, we are. Uh, we are very impressed. <laughs> we are very impressed um, with the build quality, with the company themselves, with what they stand for. Um, a lot, if not all, the same things that we're trying to stand for as a brand with Less Jump More Journey. And we think heavily about, you know, when we buy something, if our audience bought this same RV would they be happy with the RV, with the build of quality, with the customer support? So, so yeah, I mean, we do like Grand Design. Definitely a good day. Um, we are gonna end it how we end a lot of videos, especially when it's, not especially, this rarely happens with just me and you. I guess yeah. this is a day, this is a hot, sweaty day. It's like 110 degrees when we turn <laughs> off the AC. Um, <laughs> but, so we're gonna go get some donuts, at least, or maybe something cold to drink or something, I don't know. But um, yeah, we're gonna relax. Have our date the whole date today was officially a date wasn't that super romantic i know uh rv tour date that's what we do now we go on it is we've done a lot <laughs> uh, but thank you finding our someday for watching the kids while we're gone you guys uh, are awesome you're, we'll, you're awesome we'll see if we can find some donuts for you guys there might be some left we'll see <laughs> we're gonna get some sweets we had an awesome day until next time catch you guys later